so the customer was talking about uh, there's like a sewer pipe or or a septic tank or something down here in this corner of this property so we're going to check that out first before we get started we definitely don't want to hit something like that Alright guys, gonna cruise on here to the back, see if we can find anything. The way it sounds, sounds like there's a septic tank or something out here. Back here in the back, so I'll cruise along, try to find it. Well, I'm back here in the back and I don't see anything, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and just uh, kind of keep an eye out for it. Alongside this fence right now, trying to take it easy check it slow because uh, you never know what you're gonna find next to a fence like this and just when I think that I found a uh, water faucet right here sticking up out of the ground right next to the chain link fence so I found the spot that the customer was talking about right here um, I didn't even see it but I felt it with my uh, machine 
So uh, the front tire kind of hit something, felt a little rough, felt like a rock or maybe a, a, you know, a stump or something, but nope. That's exactly where it was at. She was exactly right on the spot. She said it was somewhere in this area. I looked actually down that way. I missed it by about 15 feet, actually about five to 10 feet right through here when I went through to, uh, to check it out and try to find it. But here it is, man. That could ended up really, really bad. So I'm thankful that uh, I found it before the uh, mower blades hit it. So here it is. Here it is. All right, guys, so there it is. That could have been a really, really bad news for the uh, bin track and the tough cut. Again, very, very thankful that the customer warned me about this before I uh, got out here and did the work. Because, man, if I would have not known to uh, look for that, that would have been really, really, that would have ended my day. I'm sure I would have hit that and things would have been really, really bad. So thankful to have a uh, heads up on that. I already found a retaining wall over here. Let me guys, let me show you guys that real quick. So I'm mowing over here. The first, the first um, pass that I make, look what I find. So coming off this area right here, you couldn't see it, but look. Yeah, there it is. Drops off a good two to three feet, about three feet from that retaining wall down to the ground. So that could have ended my day real quick as well. So you gotta always keep your eyes open and be aware of what you're getting into, ease into it real slow, and uh, hopefully you won't do any damage.
<laughs> I was cruising along pretty good. And then, oh man, I hit this piece of barbed wire that was, uh, I guess, hanging off this fence right here. It's probably going to be super hot too and super tangled up in the blades. I don't even really want to look. <laughs> but look at this. It's, uh, yeah, barbed wire about 20 feet long, hanging over the top of that fence. And there's no telling how much is wrapped up in these blades. Man. So I can tell it's wrapped at least a few times. Um, yeah. So my buddy Andrew, he just picked up a, uh, a vent track not too long ago. And I told him, I said, man, I need to throw some uh, wire pliers, some bolt cutters, something in the box truck in case something like this happens. So I can, uh, you know, cut that wire. And guess what? I don't think I have anything in there. So... We're going to go to the box truck, check it out. Hopefully I have something that will cut that barbed wire. If not, I'm in trouble. Man, let me tell you, I don't even know where these things came from, but they just saved me like an hour or two hours worth of backtracking to the house or to the store to buy some wire cutters. So making a note of that, I'm definitely going to go to Menards or Home Depot or somewhere when I leave here, straight after I leave here. I don't even care. Not even grabbing lunch. But I was able to get these two pieces cut out of the uh, blade. I'll dispose of these so I don't get into them again if I come out here in the future. But yeah, definitely guess can get some wire cutters, throw them in the box truck. And uh, man, that could have turned out into a, uh, a two hour delay. So thankful it only took about, what, 20 minutes or so trying to track everything down, pull it all out. So I'm going to go down through here and check out the uh, fence line and see if there's any more hanging over. But hey, got uh, got these two pieces cut and now it's time to get back to work.
one reason you don't want to get super close to the uh, fence line when you're making your first pass close to the fence because there's a barbed wire fence here on the uh, fence post and then about three foot out from that there is a woven wire it looks like that's uh that's just kind of been uh fell down over the years so if i would have if i would have went by the barbed wire fence the fence post and i would have tried to get right up close to it i would have got right into that woven wire let's see if you guys can see it in the video real quick so let me hop off real quick here like i was saying here's the fence back in here you see the fence post there fence post there and then you have this woven wire look you got this woven wire down here and it's like three feet away from the barbed wires way over here so got the barbed wire way over here woven wire man that would have been a mess All right, guys, got in, got out, got the job done, and got out of here alive. So the game plan, the goal for every job is to get in, get it done without tearing something up and hopefully making a little bit of profit. You know, uh, this job could have turned into a disaster if that lady wouldn't have told me beforehand, hey, call me before you come out. When you get there, uh, knock on the door, and I'll show you exactly the area to stay away from because uh there's either like she didn't know exactly i talked to the lady she didn't know if it was a pipe or if it was a uh a sewer cover i didn't know what to expect she just knew something was out there and uh i think her husband years ago found it and it had been peeled back a little bit on the top so somebody's obviously uh, hit it over the years but i'm super thankful that she was considerate enough to let me know about that and that way I didn't do any damage to the tractor, to the vent track, or the tough cut, because that would have been game over. And uh, I would have been uh, out a whole lot of money before I even got started. So you win some, you lose some, thankfully. Uh, this customer gave me a heads up and let me know what was out there. But uh, tackled the job, went really well. I noticed um, after I got it all knocked down, you never know what you're going to get into out there on any job that's overgrown. You don't know if there's going to be stumps, if there's going to be... Uh, huge holes that you can't see or maybe some trash out there some metal you just never know what you're going to get into so uh, i did find that barbed wire fence uh it was it was uh under there i could have been a lot worse as well but uh thankfully it only wrapped a couple times and i was able to cut it out of there and get it out and you know move on but you never know man you never know so when you get into these jobs you got to go into it thinking you know if if, if you've done it before you can uh, price accordingly, but if you've never done it, you might take you twice as long. You might get into something where it tears up your equipment, and you just you just don't know. There's too many unknowns. So if you're running the vent track, running the tough cut, be sure to price it accordingly because um, that equipment is not cheap. I know that tractor, uh, just the tractor and the uh, tough cut itself, you're up into 30000 you know, getting close to 40000 before you know it. It's an expensive piece of equipment, and... When you break something, it's not cheap. I'm gonna go grab some lunch, man. Hungry, it is three o'clock, so haven't had lunch. Had an early breakfast, so it's time to grab some lunch and then uh, probably go out and do a little bit more. But I'm Cameron with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Appreciate you guys 
for watching the video. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe if you want to keep up with me and see what the Ventrac can do in the future. So I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a good day. And as always, man, hey, God provides.